This one was a patron vote winner and the theme was songs you can dance to and this is of course from one of the wow. ultimate dance movies, Footloose, it's by Kenny Loggins. I actually didn't know who sung this song but I of course knew this song and he actually um, is known for movie music, making epic songs for movies. So let's give it a listen. You have to all dance in this one, right? I hope you're chair dancing with me. So iconic. It's remarkably close to the original. Such a clear voice. <laughs> See everyone dancing, you just have to dance along. Um, he has such a distinct and clear voice and it has a real ring to it. It's so clear, it's like a bell and that's what is so distinctive about his voice. I didn't really realise it was so distinctive until I heard it again um, in a live version but it's so close to the original here. All his nuances are very similar, um, he's really really staying true to his original record which is great fun. He had an, it was kind of interesting because of course he also um, recorded some music for um, Top Gun and he never met Tom Cruise until uh, 2016. How crazy is that? Um, what a nice career though. I would love to do movie music. Good, dead on rhythm. And I have I love how he is using like kind of rock and roll nuances. Like, I don't even know the words I said, I just said. But anyway, he uh, has such rhythm behind it. He's using his voice as percussion as well as a sung, um, a sung piece, I guess. And that's a really interesting nuance that you can use as well. If you want a song to have that rhythmic dancey feel or just a rhythmic feel for any other reason, then um, Think of how those consonants can be like drum beats. You can use them as different tones of percussion, which is kind of cool. Um, another interesting thing is when he was 17, he wrote a song called House at Pooh Corner, as in Winnie the Pooh. And um, yeah, <laughs> and he was dating, um, his girlfriend was the daughter of Disney's president. He wanted to release this song and he couldn't because Disney had the rights, but he got her to put in a little word. and. He had permission and he released that song and I feel like he is just, that was the start. He was just like, I'm gonna write songs about movies. I don't know what that dance was. I hope you're doing it too. <laughs> You know 
I love about this is that I feel like he's just having a great time and a lot of the stuff that he's done in his life has been kind of fearless but it's been carefree. I mean talking to someone a lot about artists and the, our need or a lot of artists need to kind of chase the hit of a big moment so like having uh, a really amazing part of a song or um, just having everyone be like woo! There's another really interesting thing about him, he's lived this really interesting life, he's just seemed to really enjoy his life which is lovely and I love that about this style of music it isn't taken too seriously and he hosted a radio station in Grand Theft Auto in the game and played classic rock songs and made jokes about the movie soundtracks which uh, is kind of funny. <laughs> I forgot he did that. Oh, interesting. I don't think that was actually him in, in his uh, live performance. Um, So he's, the way he's getting off notes are really interesting. Na, na, na. He's sliding down on each of these notes. And it would be, it's a weird thing to do because ja, na, 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 na. having a short end to each feels cleaner, but he really is adding this, uh, I think it's a kind of sexy edge to it. Na, 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 na. Having these little slides at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Joy Wobble. Everybody cut, everybody good. Everybody good, everybody cut. Everybody cut, everybody. Everybody, everybody cut, put it So much fun. It is always fun to have a song that you can dance to and that's something that is required in society, just something that you can let loose to and enjoy and um, I think it requires the right sort of personality. Like any type of music, you need to be the personality that feels like. If you're someone that hates dancing, don't try and write a dance song. But you could if you want to. I'm not saying don't ever try. But I feel like to deliver that song, it just has to come from from your soul. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.